Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you a couple of different ways that you can actually go ahead and fix some common FaceTime issues. These can be activation issues, notification issues, all that stuff. And starting off, we're going to go ahead and hit on the FaceTime notification issues. This basically means that sometimes your notifications will not successfully go through on your iPhone. So in order to fix this, what you want to do is you want to make sure, first of all, that our phone is actually not on do not disturb mode. Sometimes if you have this little toggle enabled, your notifications will actually just not come through. Now this is a very common thing. It happens all the time. So you want to go ahead and make sure your do not disturb mode is on. Now let's say do not disturb mode isn't on and you know, you're still not receiving any notifications of FaceTime. But what we want to do is we want to make our way over to our settings app. We want to scroll down into FaceTime, which is all the way down here. As you can see, FaceTime under messages, we want to click on there. We want to make sure FaceTime is enabled. If, if FaceTime is disabled, then obviously we're not going to get any notifications of it because it's just not going to work. So you want to go ahead and make sure your FaceTime activation is enabled. You want to make sure this is on. And finally, what you want to do if your notifications are still not working, you want to go into your notifications panel, which is right here. You want to go ahead and click there. And what you want to do next is you want to scroll down until you find FaceTime, which is right here. So you want to go ahead and click on FaceTime. And once you hear what you want to do is you want to make sure that very top section is enabled. So you want to make sure that allow notifications at first toggle is actually green. If it's not green or if it's something else, then obviously it's not going to work. So you want to make sure that this little toggle is enabled and the rest of these things will pretty much fall into place right after that. So at this point, you're pretty much already done. I would recommend checking those notifications again, but your FaceTime notifications should be working as of this point. So if you're still running into issues, I would recommend updating your phone and pretty much going out through there. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to fix your FaceTime activation errors not, you know, correctly going through. So this sometimes happens if, you know, you try to go ahead and go into your FaceTime, you know, activation specific page, aka right here. You would just go into your FaceTime activation page, like I stated before, which is right here. And for some reason, when you try to, you know, enable it, sometimes it just doesn't enable or it just says, you know, FaceTime cannot be activated or whatever. In this specific case, the best thing to do is to pretty much just toggle this on and off repeatedly, just like this a couple times. And you'd be surprised how many times that worked. It's just so funny because that ends up fixing it for some people, not everyone, but for some people, it ends up fixing it. Now, let's say that doesn't fix it. That's probably more common. What you want to do is make sure your date and time settings on your iPhone are correct to your actual date and time in your you know, actual location. So in order to do this, what we want to do is we want to hop out and make sure our FaceTime is on or you know, we tried turning it on or if it's off, whatever. We want to go into our general settings, which is right here. So click on general. Then what you want to do is you want to scroll down into date and time, which is right here. So go and click there. And we want to make sure this is set on set automatically. If this is set on anything else, we want to go ahead and locate it and see what actually is going on with it. As you can see, I have it set on set automatically. If it's on any other thing, make sure it's on the correct date and time that you're actually in. If you're on a different date and time than you're actually in right now, your location, then it's not going to end up working. So that's pretty much the main thing right there. Then what you want to do at this point is hop back into your FaceTime activation page, which is right here. And again, you just want to make sure FaceTime is enabled. If it's still experiencing issues or whatever, and it's just not working, but well, what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and go into your general settings and you just want to see if there's an update. So go into your settings, go into general, click on software update, and you just want to see if there's a software update available because sometimes this may end up being the issue in and of itself. So go ahead and install now, click on install now for the update. And as of this point, it should end up fixing the issue. If you're still experiencing issues at this point, I would recommend you know probably checking in with your Wi-Fi connection, your data connection, or maybe even considering factory resetting your phone. So those are two main issues with FaceTime that I tend to see with a lot of people. So that's pretty much how to fix it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.